Hello there and welcome back to another week of sporting news here on Puha Sports Today. Well, it's a Monday and here is where we will recap on all the sporting action from the weekend. And the biggest news has to be Asia's first ever Grand Slam winner. And of course, there was Rafael Nadal's record equaling 6th French Open title. But let's begin with Lina. And how many more congratulatory messages is she going to get for winning the women's final on Saturday? I say, just bring it on. It's China's first ever Grand Slam winner and you can notch for one of us Asians as well. But it's the story of her getting there. Well, she stopped playing in 2002 because her ranking was below 120, wasn't playing in the top tournaments and decided to pursue her studies in journalism. She got married and slowly returned to the game. And from obscurity this year alone, she's appeared in two Grand Slam finals, the Australian Open, losing to Kim Kleisters, and on Saturday, the French Open final. Let's look at the final results. Despite the score showing a straight sets victory for Lina, she wasn't let off that easy by defending champion Francesca Schiavone. While in the men's final, Rafael Nadal not only proved but once again stamped his dominance as the king of clay, taking 3 hours and 39 minutes to defeat longtime rival Roger Federer in 7-5, 7-6, losing the third in 5-7 and showing strength in the fourth, winning it in 6-1. Rafa equals Bjorn Borg's record 6 French Open title and will keep the number one spot. This after Novak Djokovic failed to obtain the 42nd win in the semi-final with Federer to surpass the Spaniard in the ranking. Lina, who was ranked 6th ahead of the championship, will now go above Schiavone and Victoria Azarenka up into 4th. But many are looking at Lina's victory as a huge boost for tennis not only in China but for Asia. We'll look at it in more detail in the coming days. Well, it's a couple of weeks of rest before we head to the green, green grass of Wimbledon. Elsewhere over the weekend, there was football action, the Euro 2012 qualifiers that proved some that provided some surprises such as England, who needed a win to secure at least a playoff place, but only managed to draw with Switzerland in Wembley. And Capello says it was fatigue. Really? Let's look at some of the key results. England's draw shows them the hard way for qualification while Robbie Keane earned his 50th international goal with an away win over the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia. 2004 champions Greece put faith in their youngsters and they returned the favour with a 3-1 win over Malta. Portugal got a narrow win at home or to Norway where former failed Spurs frontman Helder Postiga was on target. And speaking of which, another blunt Spurs striker Roman Pavlyuchenko seemed to have found his form. A little late for the football season but fine for his country as he got a hat-trick in Russia's 3-1 win over Armenia. Other results sees Israel bagging an away win. Montenegro failed to go above England in Group E after settling for a one all draw with Bulgaria. Both England and Montenegro are now tied on 11 points. And Denmark's away win over Iceland makes it a three-way battle at the top of Group H, with Norway along for the ride. We will bring you a detailed look at each of the groups and the sendings after they have finished their next round of fixtures this week, because the next time these guys get back to the qualifiers, it will be in September. And that's it for today. But we will leave you with images of China's first ever Grand Slam winner, and we in Asia celebrate alongside them. Until then, I'm Patrick for Hoo Ha Sports saying it's bye for now.